I have a very unusual fuel system in my Cozy Mark IV, and a lot of it stems from the engine choice. I chose a UL Power UL520 IS engine, which is a full authority digital engine control. It's a mo very modern engine, and uh, it is designed to be cooled from the top down rather than from the bottom up. So being a uh, modern engine, it does not have a mechanical fuel pump and in fact has two factory supplied electric pumps. They're uh, Bosch electric pumps. And I got to thinking about how the uh, fuel tank is uh, or the fuel system is laid out originally in the uh, in the plans cozy. You have a a selector valve in front with uh, three ports, and normally the fuel comes into one port, the middle one, and you select the left or the right one that you want it to go to. And then you have uh, two 26-gallon tanks, one on each strake and a screen in the corner and forgive my error on the sketch there the uh, screen drains into a blister under the uh, under the strake on each side and then it uh, the fuel is normally selected by the selector valve and and goes on to the engine well i turned things around i thought okay i've got two fuel pumps well i have one as a master and a second as a backup why don't I have two completely split fuel systems for redundancy purposes? Therefore, if anything goes wrong, I have a fuel filter clog, I have uh, contaminated fuel, whatever, I don't need to be worrying about it while I'm flying. All I need to do is switch sides, and I've got a totally separate fuel system. So if you follow along, what we're doing is we're taking fuel from the uh, the tank through the screen into the blister and then it drains out of the blister through a one inch aluminum pipe which uh, into a one gallon sump tank and any air that's in the sump can trickle back up through that pipe to the blister and, and then back into the main tank. So there's no return vent. The tank, or the sump rather, then goes through a emergency shut emergency shutoff gate valve. Then through a pre-filter, which gets the crap out before the high pressure pump. The output of the pump goes through a fine filter. And down to the fuel injector loop where it's injected under pressure uh, into the cylinders which is controlled by the computer. Excess fuel then returns out through a line uh, to the pressure regulator which regulates the fuel at three bar, it's about 43 psi, goes back up and goes to the selector valve. So I'm using the selector valve to determine where the refuel, where the fuel gets returned to. In this case, it goes out the left line, back down, and back to the blister. Okay? Same thing happens on the other side. So, how do I choose which pump is running? I added a cam and two micro switches to the selector valve. The left contact, I turn the fuel selector valve to the left. The left pump runs right down here. Excess fuel comes out up to the selector valve, which is pointing to the left, back to the fuel blister. If I turn the selector valve the other way, the left switch opens, the right switch closes, the right pump comes on. Provides fuel to the fuel injector loop through the pressure regulator, back to the selector valve, and back into the right blister. So all my fuel selection, both uh, where it's coming from and where it, in the excess 
ends up is by the selector valve. Now that's a stock selector valve except uh, that uh, I should say plan selector valve except that I've added a cam on the shaft and two micro switches on a little bracket. Same fuel tanks, same screens, same blister. Actually I made my blister about half as long because it doesn't need to hold the uh, the amount of fuel that it was intended for which was unusual attitude flight uh, because I've got the one gallon sump tanks and uh, the engine manufacturer recommends a sump tank of approximately a gallon or uh, maybe even half a gallon that seems to be suitable and uh, that's what they that's the way they recommend it so if any of these filters get clogged on one side while I'm flying all I got to do is flip the switch and I've got a completely new fuel system to, to run with. In regard to these sump tanks, uh, they are built in the space between the aft landing gear uh, bulkhead and the firewall where the NACA scoop normally goes. Since this is a downdraft cooled engine, I don't have that big NACA scoop on the bottom of the fuselage. So that was an ideal place to put these tanks. You'll notice that there is a little switch in the corner of each sump. This is a float switch and it's right in the very top of each tank. In normal operation these sump tanks should never have air in them. They should be full of fuel all the time. If there's ever air in there and the liquid level starts to go down, those switches trip, indicating on the Dynon display on a couple little indicator lights that I set up that these sump tanks are not full. That means that the main tank is bone dry. There's nothing in the main tanks and all I've got is that last remaining gallon in the sump on that side. So I either need to switch fuel tanks over to the other side or get the plane on the ground in a big hurry. Now as far as those gate valves, those are located physically within oh, about two or three inches of the output line of each sump and they are on a cable that goes all the way to the front of the plane. Uh, they're being a gate valve, they're just a right angle actuation. They only turn 90 degrees and from the cockpit I can give that cable a yank and shut the fuel off in case I have an engine fire or something. But they're also very handy when it comes time to change the filters because uh, that prevents fuel from running all over the place when I need to break the lines and take the fuels out or the filters out. So they perform a dual function in that respect. There is one last thing that I failed to note about the uh, high pressure fuel pumps and one might look at the way they're set up and say okay I got one pump running and one not running what's to keep one pump from forcing fuel back through the other pump and back into the other tank well the answer is that these pumps have built-in check valves so the fuel can only flow out and not backward uh, through the pump so that completes the scenario there. Hope you've enjoyed this little tour of my uh, uh, unconventional fuel system.